Welcome to Crypto Atlas. We have an update on Operation Phoenix, and this has to do with the price movement. There's not much other news to happen for the day, but this is really cool. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. As you guys can see, we have not one, not two, but three green candles. Two days that closed out green, and a third currently in the green position. And what's really nice about the candle that closed yesterday is on the Fibonacci retracement, something I've been referring to in my previous videos for quite a while now, we can see that that green candle not only passed above that Fibonacci level, it also closed out above it. So this is suggestive of a trend formation. This is suggestive of a new level of support. And typically you want to have at least two instances, ideally three instances to form a trend. Well, what I'm looking at here is on April 6th, there was one instance of it passing above that Fibonacci level. The second instance was on April 7th. And here we are the third day pushing above even further. The closure is, I would say, what's the most important factor here when we're talking about something like this. So right now, we're looking really good with one candle closed out in the green above. If we close out another day above that Fibonacci level, whether it's a green candle or a red candle, that would be two instances, which is a pretty good trend. But again, we want ideally three or more. So right now, this momentum is looking like it's on a run up. We are not that far off from five cents. If we break above five cents psychologically, there may be a lot of people that start to FOMO back in this because if we zoom out, ladies and gentlemen, the all time high was at 0 0.1060, right around there, right? So about 10 and a half cents. So getting above five cents suggestively means that we're on not just an upwards trajectory, but about a 50%, well, sorry, a, what is that, 200? I'm a bit tired. It's a 2x, okay? It's a 2x from there to get to the all-time high. I'm actually really tired, to be honest with you guys. And so right now, being in this upper channel, this is between the 0.618 and the 0.5, I would be looking at not just 5 cents as the next major level of resistance, but then up at 0.053 cents. May not sound like much, because frankly, it isn't. But what's so important here is as we break through each zone, psychologically, it then means that we have the potential to go into new territory, which has its own range. That's why I like the Fibonacci retracement. And we see that it's been quite helpful here based on the trend history. And I think that overall, this is a really nice technical indicator. If it breaks above 0.053 cents, then the next major zone would be at 0 0.066 cents. Then we move up here, 0 0.081 cents, then 10 cents, and then that all-time high, about 10 and a half or so. Again, right now, we are seeing an upward trajectory. There are some other key elements that we should talk about too. For example, there's a possibility that today, on Monday, we could be hearing from the Operation Phoenix team about some big news. Could be about uh, what they've been working on with the marketing on the back end. Um, I believe that was supposed to come today about us finding out whether or not it went through. The good or the bad, right? If it didn't go through, then they can allocate those funds towards other things and they could share with us what it was exactly that they've been pushing so hard to try and secure over the last couple of weeks, I believe. And if it does go through, it could very well be something super bullish. And we might be seeing some bigger buy orders coming in right now because people are hoping for the best. I don't know if people know anything, but we are seeing some bigger buy orders coming in. Another element to keep in mind, aside from that, is that we also have a first launch token, Power to the People, which is coming here on April 15th. So there very well could be people that are buying now because they wanna try and jump in on that. Another element to also take into consideration is the burn staking. 
So if you want to receive a percentage of every trade that happens on the swap, the easiest route to go is to buy enough to become either a whale or uh, what's the other one? Shark? Smaller. There's two options, guys. You can either participate in the smaller version or the bigger version, but you get a percentage of that pie, meaning every time that there's a trade that takes place on the swap, you would actually be earning residual income. As more tokens get listed, that then expands out to more volume overall. And again, people that are participating through this burn are the ones that would receive a percentage of that pie. So the less people that participate with that means that the smaller group is gonna receive the majority of the cut, right? Well, here's the thing. If you're thinking, well, I'm gonna wait on the sidelines, let me see how things go, and maybe I'll do it if it has enough volume going on. Okay, well, do you have enough tokens? Because if you wanna become a whale at a later point in time, but Operation Phoenix token is already skyrocketing, you're gonna to have to spend a lot more capital if you don't have those tokens to actually participate in that. So some people may very well be like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead, jump in right now, buy enough tokens, become a whale, then go ahead and participate in the burn staking for that. I believe it's 200,000 tokens is a minimum requirement to be a part of that. And then boom, you're locked in. This thing takes off, it continues to grow, it's residual income and you are looking good. And at that point, it doesn't matter if the token does pull back or not. What does matter really is whether or not there's enough trading volume going on with the different tokens being listed. Now, another important note to share with you guys is that you can also earn by referring tokens over. So think of this, if you know right now, any tokens that are on the Binance Smart Chain, maybe you're a part of their community, Maybe you're not, you can think of one, you can go do your research, whatever. If you refer that token project over to the Operation Phoenix team and they end up getting listed on the Infinity Swap because you referred them, you would receive 10% of all the trades for that specific token from the trading fees for life. So again, think about what trading volume is going on. If a lot of people are trading proactively that specific token, you get 10% of that cut of the trading fee of the infinity swap. So it's like a fraction of a fraction kind of a thing. But again, it's residual income. So you got a whole bunch of different ways that you can be earning with this. Really interesting, creative new ways. I've never seen something like this before personally. I think it's so cool. What do you guys think? Now, I also want to point out to you that on a level of support, 0 0.023 cents is where we're looking at in the next major zone uh, dropping down below us here. But currently, that zone we were breaking above, that's sitting at 0 0.041 cents. Looking really good. Looking really, really good. Up 10.38%, $78,000 on the pancake swap side, $41,000 on the buy side, $36,000 on the sell side. Day over day, seems like we typically will see pretty close to the same range. There's a whole bunch of buys that come in. There's a whole bunch of sells that come in as well. But guys, if enough momentum carries on with this, I would not be surprised to see the sell volume start to dry up as a lot of the buy pressure just causes this thing to keep on rolling. Now, looking over on the Twitter side, it's above 2,000 followers. Again, it's at 2,027. Seems like it jumped quite a bit. So I may have missed if there was something that happened from a marketing standpoint. I'm a little bit worried because we did pass 2,000 followers recently and then the next day or so i saw that there was a pullback and it was below 2000 again so hopefully fingers crossed this is actually good now and we can continue the momentum going up but it's above 2000 so it's really nice to see that that number has changed 2000 plus followers now as far as the holder count goes i don't think this changed since the last time i did a video 1466 would love to see this get above 1500 would love to see this get above 2000 3000 10000 etc and then lastly here is the on the coin market cap list we can see bnb is up 1.52% on the day ethereum's up 7% wild up 7% bitcoin's up 4.27% so bnb solana they're both doing pretty good. BNB is right around that $600 level. Guys, the all-time high for BNB is around $700. It really feels like BNB is on the verge of 
pop in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Then lastly, I talk about Marjex all the time. If you got some free time, go check out the platform. There's no KYC. Get started in about 30 seconds to a minute. You do not have to make a deposit right away if you don't want to. But if you guys do, you guys participate with it, use my referral link, you could get up to $10,000 in bonuses. You can find out more through the link in the description below. Here's different cryptos you can buy, just as some examples through their platform. They have copy trading, they have staking, lots of options there. And uh, some people need to use VPNs. A lot of people don't. It is available in certain regions. It just depends for you. And that's what I got for you guys in this video. You can also check out HG Access, HG Access if I could say it right. That's through Patreon. If you guys want to go ahead and research this a little bit more, be a part of that exclusive trading group that's in the description down below. That's what I got for you guys in this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that thumbs up like button. Thank you so much to my personal Patreon supporters. Double shout out, thank you to Victor Vegas and Worlds of Rizvi for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. This video became a little bit longer than I thought, but you know what? I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode.